Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. I've had loads and loads of requests over the last eight months. How do you fit the fuel pickup or take off fittings into a diesel heater tank for the Chinese diesel heaters? Now, it's some, such a simple task I just don't understand why people can't work it out and so I'm going to try and do it in the simplest form I can so that people understand and you need some basic things you need the fittings there's more than one sort of fitting there's a short one and a deeper one it doesn't matter which one you're using the principle applies it also applies if you're going to use brake pipe fittings. I'll just get one. I've got some brake pipe fittings here. Okay, and you can use these to put in to a tank. And, and that's one there I've sort of mocked up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with a standard fitting. And you need a spanner, one spanner that fits the nuts, which we haven't one you're going to use. A length of string, a pair pin nose pliers and an old screw right so there are all the tools you need you don't need bits of wires you don't need anything else right now because I haven't got a tank I've got this milk container so the first thing you've got to do is decide where you're going to put it in your tank so pretend this is the diesel tank so you drill a hole so that the fitting you're going to use goes through the hole to make sure you've got the right size that's the first thing you do next thing you do is you t use your nylon cord or shoelace or whatever you're going to use and you tie it to a screw okay so you've now tied a screw to the end of your shoelace or piece of cord you're going to use you poke it through the hole inside the tank like that you shake the tank so it comes out the other end so it goes through the hole in the top and out the bottom like that that's the easy bit. You then untie the screw and poke it through your fitting. So now you've got your piece of string going through the hole, through the tank, through the fitting, and you put the screw back on the end. Okay. Now on the other end of the piece of string, you can put the nut on, whichever one it is. So recap, the string goes through the tank and out the other side. You want to do the bolt, you feed it through your fitting, the correct way it can be pulled through. You put the screw back on the end with a knot on the other end. You've got the saline washer and the nut, simple as that. And it's just a matter then of pulling the fitting into the tank. And pulling it through. Okay, so you get that far. You then get a piece of string with a nut on it. You lift it up, the seal on the washer falls on, so that's on, and then you can, by pulling the string in one hand like this, there's enough tension on it to tighten the nut so it doesn't fall back in with your fingers. Like that. And then 
It's a simple matter. Can set up to something this. There we go, just set the camera up there. You get a pair of pin nose pliers, you grip the fit in, and then you tighten the nut. Spanner, do the finger to start with. I've got the wrong spanner, typical. But basically, you do it up with the right spanner, and that's it. Now, to get the screw out, put the string down the hole inside the tank, and shake it. comes out, pull the string out, all the way through, like that, and you have your fitting. Some people ask how you do the nut up on the inside. You don't put the nut on the inside. There isn't a nut for the inside. Only a barrel. But remember to put your seals on, whether it's O-rings or felt washers or whatever you're fitting. And it's as simple as that. So my advice is if you can't do this, you shouldn't be fitting your diesel heater. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.